Okay, this is a short video on how to hook up um, a gimbal to a Cheerson CX-20 and uh, here's the gimbal. This is a the cheap Chinese gimbal and I've got a Mobius camera on there. I've got it balanced out with some weights and what we're, we're going to do is hook up this gimbal so that it's controlled by this auxiliary one pot on the remote that comes with the Tiersen CX-20, the stock remote transmitter. So on the gimbal, all you need to do is hook up one wire for the controller. That one wire is right there. See how there's six wires total but I only hooked up one control wire and that plugs in to the bottom of your quadcopter and then I switched out the power supply see there's a 12 volt power supply and it came with a different connector but I soldered this one on there because that plugs in right to the bottom of your Cheerson CX-20 and if they both plug in Can you see it? Okay. Yeah, you can see that, can you? Um, the 12 volt power. I'm having a hard time seeing it. <clears throat> 12 volt power. You can plug in right there. Ground and positive. So, see where it says that? And then the the sensor, the signal wire, that single wire, you plug in right right there to so that the one on the right, the top one on the right. And um, and that's it. So you have three wires total to plug in. And I'll plug I'll uh, turn this off for a second and I'll plug them in and then show them to you. And how you mount the gimbal, uh, that's a little bit tricky. I, I got my own little method figured out here but I'll show you how that is how I mounted that too um, hang on a second I'm gonna pause this okay I got those hooked up I'll zoom out and you can see that I just got the, the gimbal sitting there sideways so you can kind of tell how it's hooked up um, let me pan okay there's a there's a 12 volt power right there and there's the signal wire right there and there's how they, they're hooked up see so three wires total will hook up to your gimbal and that's all you need at least on this one and with my you know this Cheerson CX-20 I guess the the other Quantum Nova should be the same and um, that other wire you see hanging out down there is just um, an extra wire I have for my uh, camera, my live camera view. But uh, I'll go ahead and hook up the gimbal and show you how I have it mounted in case you're interested. Okay, here's how I decided to install my gimbal. Um, see, the problem is at least on this quadcopter you don't really have a lot of you don't have any clearance to get to these um, jacks and so I use the stock mount and I just attach this new gimbal mount on top of the stock mount and I use some zip ties you can see the zip ties there to kind of help hold it in place and um, you see the screws you know I just took some nuts and bolts and bolted right through the plate of the old one. Turn it sideways here so you can see. See how I did that? See, and then this way you need to still access your jacks and that you can move this. Um, see, see you can move it sideways. It gives you access to those. So you can still plug stuff in, your USB and all that kind of stuff. And it gives you a little extra wiggle there too. I don't know if that's good or bad. But uh, you know these zip ties kind of help keep the wiggle down I think and they help keep that plate attached 
along with the, the screws there. So um, the zip ties go all the way through the bottom plate and underneath that too, if you can see that. Okay, now I'm going to attach the gimbal and then show you the operation, how it works. Okay, now that uh, I've got the gimbal hooked up, you can see that it's controlled by my number one pot. Um, right here. Have it adjusted so it goes basically from straight down to straight ahead. And that's the only control. It doesn't go left or right. But the gimbal does stay stable. Let's see like it's supposed to. And another thing I should point out is that um, I kept my Mobius camera pretty much I kept the the lens in line with the, the motor behind there so that uh, as it wobbles um, if it lags a little bit or whatever it'll it'd be more likely to stay centered instead of jiggling as much. But um, that and then this is what the mount looks like. See I got it hooked up there. And so far it's working pretty good for me. So I just thought maybe this might be helpful to someone. And good luck.